So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we cover this amazing lab so simply click on start lab and here you can see open the cloud console incognito window now the first step is that you have to just activate the cloud shell here you may get some kind of pop up you have to click on i agree agree and continue or i understand too so let's move to the next step that is activation of the cloud shell here click on this icon next to the gemini here you have to just click on it and here now you have to click on continue and authorize yourself now please follow this video carefully because chances are there you may face some kind of issues in the version stage so here i'll take care of it first of all let me increase the font size now in the description box of this video i've shared the github repo okay we'll be using that only so here come over here so here you have to copy all the files like this here we are using online notepad basically rapid tables you can just open it google it also i can use your personal notepad also there is not any issue but i recommend whichever i am using try to follow it along with me now first thing is that you have to copy this from here to here and then just paste and hit enter now while it's working over here you can do one thing click on this plus icon it will initiate a new cloud shell session click on this and preview on port 8080 now by default i am getting the exact url sometimes what happens you may get some kind of other url also basically a uh, question mark and some extra text so for you guys only i am repeating the steps again so that you are able to complete it okay so just let me show here so finally here you can see question mark auth user now you have to copy carefully from here to here and just come to here and here you can see this replace web preview sorry web preview url you have to paste over here okay replace it carefully repeat the steps if you are unable to understand now select it come over here and paste it now when you hit enter you'll get another fresh url that we have to modify too so you have to open it now again from here just copy it and paste it on an empty space okay on the notepad you have to paste on an empty space so just paste it now here we have to make some modification just change the fs to bq okay in small letters now come over here to the task number five and keep scrolling till the end let me show you where you have to scroll just keep scrolling here you can see we done the fs to bq now here symbols product symbols you can see we have to replace with this so copy carefully and from here you can see symbols product symbols carefully replace it and make sure you are replacing it carefully now all these things are updated okay now just copy it over here open any new tab paste over here hit enter now here you'll get this kind of output okay once you get this kind of output come over here and check the score now chances are there you may not get the score instantly so you need to wait for some time and if you're not getting score for more than five minutes then chances are there you made some mistakes just repeat the steps again or restart the lab now here we have to complete the last step okay now here you have to just come over here okay so you can just if you have just missed a mixed file come over here to github repo and just select it from here and just paste open a new shell using the plus option now just paste over here now chances are there many of you may face some kind of issues or errors over here in that case like if you are getting that url was not found in this server so how you have to debug no one tells you so i am showing you how you have to fix it okay so here there is some issues basically some versions are not working so you will not get score for this particular task so how you have to fix it let me show you okay come over here try again you can see here we are getting this kind of error so first thing we'll do we'll set the version and then we have to deploy the app if you try to deploy the app directly you'll get this kind of output so first of all let the update the go version now let's run the deploy command now this deploy command will take at least four to five minutes so you need to wait for it 
and after that we'll surely check the score and if you follow the way carefully the way i have made everything simpler step by step then only you'll be able to get full score if you try to just complete without understanding everything then you may get the score or you may not get the score but the main aim of the program will be you know better so just wait for it to get completed so finally here it's showing done now let's come to the lab instructions and simply check the score to enable this yellow check my progress you have to check the video description how to enable check my progress i've shared the video you have to follow now do like the video and subscribe the channel guys have a great day